A familiar scene for any TV viewer. This promotional video for Channel 4 showing an estate littered with bin liners and wet washing. But the reality looks a bit different. They put in loads of washing lines and satellite dishes and upturned shopping trolleys and rubbish bags. And you can see this isn't, this isn't a reality. This isn't how people are living. The residents say that when it was filmed 10 years ago, producers brought along props and effects were added later. As I got older and seen it over and over again, uh, I wasn't really happy with it because I was thinking that's not home. That's not where I lived. It looks completely different. Built in the 1960s, the Aylesbury is the largest estate in Europe. Blighted in the past by crime and deprivation, Tony Blair made his first speech here as Prime Minister. But even with its difficulties, some feel this portrayal isn't fair. A seven and a half thousand population here, it's the size of a small town, so it will have its problems. But we think that things like the eye don't just re-emphasise the negatives. So determined to showcase the positive, those living along this corridor teamed up with a local filmmaker to create their own version, replacing props with people. Most importantly, we wanted to feature the residents who actually live here um, and give them a chance to be seen in the estate because this estate is about the people in the community and not just some brutalist architecture. Proud stars of the new video are Viv and Millie walking their dog. They want Channel 4 to start running this instead. When we saw saw it put together yeah. and edited it it was yes that's what channel 4 needs to put up yeah and this is what we want to see and we want other people to see that it is a good estate it is clean and it is friendly what did you think of the the final piece brilliant yeah, absolutely yeah. brilliant channel 4 says since being contacted by bbc london it has now seen the residents version and has spoken to the filmmaker to see if it can be shown so Viv and Millie may be hitting our screens soon. Jim McKenzie, BBC London News.